Hello everybody! Welcome back to Pretzel Kids and Namaste Kids Yoga. I am Miss Janie um, and I'm so happy to be back. And it's finally April, which means it's warm enough to be outside, outside. So we've moved from my house and now we're making our way outdoors where it's sunny, it's warm, um, the, the buds are starting to come on the trees, the flowers are starting to bloom. What do you, have you seen in your yard? Have you seen any flowers? Maybe some birds are coming back to, to make their nests in their bushes and their trees. So next time you go outside, I want you to look around your yard and see all of the signs of spring. Okay, so to start today, if you have a towel or a mat, that will work. So lay that out in whatever room you're in. If you're outside, you can do this outside. If you're in your house, and you can hear all the different sounds of nature um, around me. I want you to sit in a pretzel pose. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, hands on your knees, and I want you to close your eyes. And imagine a mountain. And maybe you've seen this mountain in real life. Maybe you've seen this mountain in a picture but I want you to think about what that mountain looks like. Think of all the words you would use to describe that mountain. Are you thinking of the words? My words were tall, because it goes up really, really high. Another word might be pointy. Sometimes mountains come to a point at the tip rocky. What are some words you came up with? Can you tell me? Very good. Those are very good words. Well, today we are going to hike to the top of a mountain. Not a real mountain. A mountain in our imagination. Would you like to do that? All right. Awesome. So let's start with our breathing, which we start every class with. Before we go on our hike, we need to make sure that our air is flowing and we have our energy to climb all the way to the top and see what we can find, okay? So we're gonna do today's breath is going to be wind breath. So on a windy day, if you're outside, you may your hair may blow around and the trees are blowing around and you feel a lot of wind. When you go to the top of the mountain, it's usually even a little windier. So we're gonna do mouth, uh, wind breath. So I'll do it first and then we're going to try it two or three times. So for wind breath, you're going to breathe through your nose and then you're going to breathe out through your mouth and make that wind sound. Okay. So watch me first. Breathe in through your nose and out. Just like wind. Try that again. Breathe in and out through the mouth like wind. Good. Now you try it. We're going to do it probably, let's do it three times. Ready? One more time. Breathe in. And wind breath out through your mouth. Good. Breathe in again. And out through your mouth. Good. Breathe in again. And out through your mouth. Getting very windy. Let's do it two more times. Breathe in and out through your mouth. And one more time. Breathe in and nice long wind through your mouth. Good. All right. Shake it all out. Good. All right. So let's get ready for our hike. Everybody stand up. all our things that we need for our hike before we can start to climb up the mountain. So the first thing we're going to put on our, 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 our hiking boots. You have to have the right shoes to climb up those mountains. So let's take one boot 
bend down and pick that up and lift up your leg and put that boot on. Pull it all the way over your foot and pull it up. Good. Let's do the other foot. Pick up your boot, lift up your leg, and let's put our boot on. Good. Bend down in like a frog pose. Tie one shoe, pretend. Tie the other shoe just for pretend. Good. What else do we need? It's usually a little chilly up on the mountain, so let's put on our jacket. So I want you to grab your jacket off the hook. Good. Put one arm in. Put the other arm in. Good. And zip, zip it up. Good. All right. Now let's put on our, what else do we need? A hat. Let's put on our hat. So we're going to lift it up. Good. Raise up your arm and put on your hat. Good. Now let's put on our backpack. Good. Let's reach over here and get out our backpack. Make sure it has everything we need inside it. Maybe some snacks. Maybe some water. Good. And let's put it on our back. Good. Now we are ready to start our hike. So, First, we're going to start by walking around our room slowly. So whatever room you're in, I want you to take big steps. And we're going to walk around, walk around, walk around. Take a look around, see what you're finding. Good, let's walk in place a little bit. Good. All right, I see part of the mountain. Let's reach up and start to climb up that rock. So with your hands, reach up nice and tall. Reach, 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 reach. So I'm reaching with one hand, lifting my other foot, just like we're climbing up that mountain. Good, keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. And let's get to that landing. Good, put your feet out wide. We are at the top, the top of the mountain. All right, so what I want you to do first at the top of this mountain, put your hands above your head, your eyes and look around. And we're gonna do look, smell, and listen. So I want you to look around the room that you are in right now. And I want you to find something that you can smell. So look around the room and look what you can potentially smell. I see flowers, so I can smell the flowers. What do you see? Good. I, let's think, what can we touch? We're up here at the top of the mountain, so I see a lot of things I could touch. I could touch the actual mountain. I could touch some rocks. I can touch dirt. Maybe if you see a little brook where you've been hiking, you can dip your finger into the water if you're with your mom or dad or babysitter. Always have a grown up with you when you're by water, but you can always dip your finger in the little brook to, to see how it feels. Very nice, good. All right, so we up here on the top of the mountain are going to look for animals. We're gonna look for water, we're gonna look for flowers. But before all that, we are going to do our sun salutations, which we've done in previous classes. We're gonna do three sun salutations to thank the sun for all that it does for us. And when we're at the top of the mountain, we're the closest we can possibly be to the sun. We're all the way up at the tippy top. And you can see the sun shining behind me right here. I see that nice sun giving me nice warmth while I do our yoga today. So, as we know, our first pose is mountain pose. So I want you to have a nice wide base. Your feet are firmly planted into the ground. Hands, palms out, and that's mountain pose. Put your hands together, and we're gonna burst up to the top of the mountain. Burst up to the top of the mountain, good. Let's do our forward fold. Good, grab your elbows and you can rock back and forth. Rock the baby, rock 
Hey baby, good. Take your hands and put them flat onto the ground and step one foot back and step the other foot back like a lunge. Good, hold yourself up for one, two, three. Belly hits the ground, chest hits the ground. And then you can push yourself up like a snake. You might see snakes up in the mountains. Good, then tuck your toes under and up in downward dog and walk back to the top of the mat. We're gonna do that two more times. So mountain pose, nice strong mountains. We are on the mountain, so we're gonna be nice strong mountain pose. Palms out. Take a nice breath in, out, good. Hands together, burst up, mountain pose, good. Forward fold, rock the baby. Good, hands down and step one foot back. Step the other foot back in a nice lunge, a nice plank pose. One, two, three, drop your belly, drop your chest and push up. Push all the way up if you want. Good, tuck those toes under and push back up for downward dog. Bend one knee, bend the other knee, bend one knee again, bend the other knee again, and walk back up to the top of the mat. We're gonna do that one more time. Mountain pose. Take a nice breath in here, feel the sunshine. Good. Hands together. First up, like a volcano at the top of the mountain. Good. Forward fold down. And rock it all out. Rock, rock. Nice. Take your hands. I'm turning. You don't have to turn. I just turn so you can see. Hands to the mat. Step one foot back into a lunge. Step the other foot back into a plank for three, two, one. One, belly down, chest down, and up. Do a nice big stretch for this one. Right into the sun. Thank you, sun. Tuck your toes under, downward dog. And step to the top of the mat. Very, very nice. Okay. We are warmed up. We're all packed up. Now we're ready to see what we can find at the top of this mountain. So let's start with a nice march. And I'd like you to put your hands above your eyes and look around. I see a beautiful large tree over there. So let's go into our tree pose. Stand up nice and tall, hands at heart center your foot right by your calf and if you're balanced you can go straight up for those large tree branches very nice let's try the other side nice and tall nice and balanced foot at your calf and straight up very nice good let's shake that out and continue to walk goodness I see an eagle a huge eagle so what we're gonna do you're gonna stand up nice and tall you're gonna take one leg and bend it back as you go forward into your eagle pose you can put the eagle wings out or go forward very good back up let's do the same with the other side Out. Can you balance? Can you balance like an eagle? And straight out. Hands together. Bring it back again. Very good. All right, let's keep walking. Keep walking. Now let's just do a simple mountain pose. Nice and firm to the ground as we walk. Good, let's walk again. This time bring your arms into it. March, march, march. I see a bear way out in the distance. So we're safe, but let's do a bear crawl. So get down on all fours, hands, 
and your knees. And we're gonna go. We're gonna take a couple steps forward. One, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and forward. One, two, three, and back. One, two, three. Good. Now we're gonna do lion pose. So the same thing as a bear, but this time you're gonna add lion's breath to it. So you're gonna walk again on all fours and then go. Can you try that? Breathe through your nose and a lion's roar out, a big breath. Good, hopefully we don't see any lions on our walk. Let's see, what other? Hmm. Oh, let's keep walking. Walk, 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 walk. A mountain goat, a mountain goat. So our, for our mountain goat pose, we're gonna put one foot back, slightly turn your toes in, hands out, and bring them up to your ears and stick your one finger out. Bend slightly and look around like a mountain goat up at the top of the mountain. Good, good. All right, again. Oh, another eagle. Put one leg back, hands out and fly. Very good. See a deer. Do you see a deer? We see deer everywhere around our house. So you might also, but in the mountains, there's lots of deer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pretend like you're sitting in an invisible chair. So put your legs together and sit. Good. And then take your antlers and bring them out. Very good. Can you stay in that position? One, two, Three, good. Shake it out and walk. Good, another tree. So let's put our foot to our ankle or to our calf, hands together and just stay here for a moment. Good, other side. Take a seat. Okay, so let's sit back down in our pretzel pose, nice and tall. And we're gonna look around to see if we can see any more animals here. And I see an owl. Owls are very still in their seat and they look around and they look around. So we're gonna sit in our pretzel pose and we're gonna go from side to side three times, okay? So we're gonna reach back this way and look back. Ooh, ooh. And then go back this way. Ooh, ooh. And go back this way. Ooh, ooh. And this way. Okay, so we're at the top of the mountain. We took a nice long hike. Now it's time to start to relax. So stay in your seat and we're gonna cool down. We're gonna go back to that wind breath. We're gonna do it three times. One time, we're gonna do a strong wind. Then we're gonna do a medium wind. And then we're gonna slow it down to a nice breeze, okay? So sit up nice and tall. You're gonna breathe in through your nose and a nice strong wind out. Good. Breathe in again. A strong wind out. Good. And when you breathe out, you feel your whole body just ah, relaxes, right? Now let's do a medium wind. Breathe in. And a medium wind out. Good. 
Breathe in. And a medium wind out. Good. One more time. Breathe in through your nose. And a medium wind out. Now let's do a light breeze. Breathe in through your nose. And a light breeze. I shouldn't even hear the light breeze. Good. One more time. Breathe in. A light breeze out. Breathe in through your nose again. A light breeze out. Very nice. Now you can start to get into your Savasana pose. So if that's sitting for you, that's fine. You can sit in a comfortable position. If that's laying down on your mat, you can lay down on your mat now. And I want you to close your eyes and only listen to me. Get relaxed. If you're laying down, put your hands flat on the side of you. Put your legs straight out. If you're seated, make sure your whole entire body is just relaxed and your eyes are closed. And I want you to think about the great hike we had up the mountain. We climbed all the way to the top. We saw many plants and animals along the way. We saw the tree. We saw the eagles. We saw the bears. We saw the lions. We dipped our finger in the babbling brook. And now we're at the top, sitting or laying on top of a big, smooth rock, feeling that nice, cool breeze and the warmth of the sun. We can see the sky, the clouds, and other mountains and the beginning of our trail back down the mountain. And just as we're ready to hike back down the mountain, our magic carpets arrive. We ride the carpets just above the trees and we float down, down, down to the bottom of the mountain. We hear, we hear birds calling. Can you hear them? And some of them fly right next to us. We can see their beautiful feathers as we admire their ability to fly. Do you sometimes wish you could fly? We feel like birds as we fly on our magic carpet. And finally, we arrive at the end of our journey on the bottom of the mountain. And I want you to just lay still and listen to the sounds around you. And when you're ready, you can start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Start to turn your head from side to side. Move your arms around. Start to wake your body up. And you can bring your knees to your belly. If you're laying down, you can do it that way. If you're sitting up, you can do it this way. And I want you to hug yourself close. And roll over to one side if you're laying down and begin to push yourself back up and sit up in your pretzel pose. And remember that you are as strong as a mountain. And if anything starts to push you one way or the other, and you're feeling like you're a little off balance, remember that mountain pose and how strong you are how peaceful you are and how loved you are. Namaste. Enjoy this beautiful weather and I will see you soon.